الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Evaluation of Diagnostic and Screening Tests Validity and Reliability Professor Mahmoud Hani Suleiman Section A Sensitivity and Specificity Correctly classifying individuals by disease status. Tests are used in medical diagnosis, screening, and research. How well is a subject classified into disease or non disease group? Ideally, all subjects who have the disease should be classified as having the disease, and vice versa. Practically, the ability to classify individuals into the correct disease status depends on the accuracy of the tests, among other things. Diagnostic test and screening test. What is the difference? A diagnostic test is used to determine the presence or absence of a disease when a subject shows signs or symptoms of the disease. A screening test identifies as asymptomatic individuals who may have the disease. The diagnostic test is performed after a positive screening test to establish a definitive diagnosis. Some common screening tests Pap smear for cervical dysplasia or cervical cancer fasting blood cholesterol for heart disease fasting blood sugar for diabetes blood pressure for hypertension mammography for breast cancer PSA test for prostate cancer focal occult blood for colon cancer ocular pressure for glaucoma, PKU test for phenylketonuria in newborns, TSH for hypothyroid and hyperthyroid. Here this slide shows levels of prevention. The level at the primary where primary prevention where we can remove risk factors is the suitable uh, phase suitable time to do screening tests so we can prevent the disease variation in biologic values many test results have continuous scale are continuous variables Distribution of biologic measurements in humans may or may not permit easy separation of diseased from non-diseased individuals based upon the value of the measurement. Distribution of tuberculin reactions. This is the tuberculin test. It is measured in uh, millimeters, the diameter of the induration measured in millimeters. On the X is the millimeters and on the Y is the number of subjects. This is a distribution of real group for tuberculin positive test. Distribution of systolic blood pressure. This is systolic blood pressure in millimeter mercury on the X axis and the number of men in the Y axis. It is near normal distribution curve. Validity. What is validity? Validity is the ability of a test to indicate which individuals have the disease and which do not. Ability of a test to indicate which individuals 
have the disease and which do not. It is measured by two parameters, sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity is the ability of a test to identify correctly those who have the disease. Those who have the disease ability of test to find out who have the disease specificity ability of the test to identify correctly those who do not have the disease those who do not have the disease determining the sensitivity specificity of a new test you must know the correct disease status prior to calculation gold standard test is the best test available to diagnose the disease it is often invasive or expensive so it cannot be used easily a new test for example and a new screening test or a less expensive diagnostic test use a two by two table to compare the performance of the new test to the gold standard test here is the table according to the gold standard he is a diseased positive or disease negative a plus c all people with the disease b plus d all people without the disease here is a two by two table those who have the disease either are negative or positive for the new test the negative one is called true positives they are positive in both tests the those who are both negative for the two tests are called true negatives those who are negative for the both tests are called true negatives so by two according to the two by two table we have a group called true positives both tests are positive and the true negatives both tests are negative sensitivity is the ability of the test to identify correctly those who have the disease a from all individuals with the disease though the group called a plus c it is given by this formula sensitivity is a fixed characteristic of the test a specificity is the ability of the test to identify correctly those who do not have the disease from all individuals free from the disease a specificity is also a fixed characteristic of the test now we will apply concept of sensitivity and specificity to a screening test assume population of 1000 people among them 100 have the disease among those who have the disease 80 are positive for uh, screening uh, result and 20 are negative for the screening result while 900 do not have the disease among the 900 who do not have the disease 800 are negative for the screening test and we have the, these results as it is diagrammed in front of you <clears throat> calculation sensitivity and specificity sensitivity as you see on your left hand 80 divided by 100 80 percent specificity is equal to 
800 divided by 989%. So the ability of this test to find out who are the diseased is 80% while the ability of this test to find out who is not diseased is 89% evaluating validity sensitivity as we said for this equal 80% and specificity 89% Here in this slide, how can we calculate accuracy of a test? It equals, the accuracy equals true positive plus true negative divided by number of all study population multiplied by 100. Now we will make a fast review about what we said, as we said, in a two by two table, we have four cells, A, B, C, and D. On the top, we have the disease, the gold standard test, and here we have the screening test. So we have four cells. A is called true positives, D is called true negatives, B is called false positive, C is called false negatives according to the two used tests. This is a question for you. Fill in the missing cells and calculate sensitivity and specificity for this example. You can easily find what is in the empty cells and calculate a specificity and sensitivity. Section B, multiple testing. Use of multiple tests. <clears throat> Commonly done in medical practice, choices depend on cost, invasiveness, volume of test, presence and capability of lab, infrastructure, urgency, etc can be done sequentially or simultaneously. Sequential test two stage screening. At the first, the screening test was conducted. Those who tested positive brought back for the second test to further reduce false positives. Consequently, the overall process will increase specificity but with reduced sensitivity. Example of a two-stage screening program, test one, blood sugar. Test one, blood sugar assume disease prevalence equal 5% among population 10,000, sensitivity 70%, specificity 80%, screen positives from the first test as false. We get the two by two table, and calculate the numbers and we had this table examine it carefully then the same example of a two-stage screening program test two glucose tolerance test above we have the two by two table in the uh, last page and here we have the new test to glucose tolerance with 90 percent sensitivity and 90 percent specificity and in the lower table we took the upper two cells and put them here as a totals and we had the numbers as follows we are still in the same example here we get net sensitivity which equals three 
وام 5 divided by 500 gives us 63% net sensitivity net I mean with of the two tests two phase test new specificity equals 7060 plus 1710 divided by 9500 give us 90 per 8 98 percent new specificity simultaneous testing this is the other cause we've mentioned the sequential testing here we mentioned simultaneous testing when two or more tests are conducted in parallel the goal is to maximize the probability that subjects with the disease through positive are identified so to increase sensitivity consequently more false positive are also identified decrease specificity Net gain and net loss. In simultaneous testing, there is a net gain in sensitivity, but a net loss in specificity. This is important. Simultaneous testing, there is net gain in sensitivity, but a net loss in specificity when compared to either of the tests used alone. In, sequ <clears throat> in sequential testing, when positives from the first test are retested there is a net loss in sensitivity but a net gain in specificity compared to either of the tests used section c predictive values predictive values first positive predictive value or ppv it is the proportion of patients who test positive who actually have the disease. That is to say, ability of the test to find real disease among those who are tested positive. This is the ability of the test. We have some who are positive on the screening test the ability of this test to f to find disease among those positives is called positive predictive value negative predictive va value or NPV a percent of patients who test the negative who are actually free of the disease note PPV and NPV are not fixed characteristics of the test. Another interpretation of PPV, this is important. If a person tests positive, what is the, probab the probability that he or she has the disease? And if that person tests negative, what is the probability that he or she does not have the disease? this is another interpretation of ppv we have the two by two table a true positives d true negatives b false positive c false negative what the test shows the test shows that all people with positive results a plus b all people with negative results C plus D. Predictive value, positive predictive value on top A divided by A plus B, while negative predictive value D divided by C plus D. Apply concept of predict predictive values to screening test. Assume a population of 1,000 people. This is an example. 100 have the disease, 900 do not have the disease, 
a screening test is used to identify the 100 people with the disease the results of the screening appear in this table the same table we have before those positive with the screening 80 plus 100 equal 180 negative 20 plus 800 equal 820 and here are the totals so on the top we have the positive predictive value we calculated it 80 divided by by 180 and it equals 44 percent on the bottom we have negative predictive value 800 divided by 820 and it equals 98 percent ppv primarily depends on prevalence of the disease in the population prevalence of the disease in the population and the test itself sensitivity and the specificity so ppv primarily depends on prevalence of the disease and the test sensitivity and specificity in general it depends more on specificity of the test if the disease prevalence is low in general it depends more on the specificity of the test if the disease prevalence is low calculation of ppv and npv construct table and use the definition guide to the calculation of ppv and npv or use the formula relationship of disease prevalence to predictive value relationship of disease prevalence to predictive value here in this example sensitivity equal 99% and specificity 95% and we constructed the table in the case if the disease prevalence is 1% and in the case in the above example and in the case of the disease prevalence is 5% in the lower example and we calculate it have a good look print it and try to construct it by yourself so if a person tests positive the probability that he or she has a disease depends on the prevalence of the disease in the population tested and the validity of the test I mean the validity sensitivity and specificity in general specificity has more impact on predictive value of the screening test section D reliability or repeatability reliability or you can say repeatability product reproducibility repeatability and reliability reproducibility repeatability and reliability all mean that the results of a test or measure are identical or closely similar each time it is conducted results of a test or a measure are identical or closely similar each time it is conducted suppose we measure the height of a person with a meter if every time we measure his height with this meter and find it is the same so this test is reproducible repeatable and reliable so 
results of a test or measure are identical or closely similar each time it is conducted because variation in lab procedures observers or changing conditions of test subjects as time and location a test may not consistently yield the same result when repeated a test may not consistently yield the same result when repeated Different types of variation are intra-subject variation, intra-observer variation, inter-observer variation. Intra-subject variation, the same subject may have different values of the test. Intra-observer, the same observer measure differently at various times or locations enter observer two observers have a variation intra subject variation intra subject variation is a variation in the results of a test conducted over short period of time on the same individual the difference is due to change as physiological change environmental change and etc occurring to that individual over that time period variation in blood pressure for example variation in blood pressure a 24 hour period here we have for example female 27 years old and have different measures at different times female aged 62 years old have different measures at different times male 33 years old have different measures at different times basal lowest hour highest hour and casual this is an example of variation in blood pressure readings enter observer and intra observer enter observer variation is a variation in the result of a test due to multiple observers examining the result enter equal between intra observer variation is a variation in the result of a test due to the same observer examining the result at different times intra within the difference is due to the extent to which observers agree or disagree when interpreting the same test result agreement between two observers or two observations a perfect agreement occurs when b equals zero c equals zero for the observer one and observer two take a look and a careful look percent agreement overall percent agreement equals a plus d divided by a plus b plus c plus d multiplied by 100 percent positive agreement a divided by a plus b plus c multiplied by 100 example this is a first radiologist a second radiologist b and these are the results given by them and here we calculated the overall percent agreement which is about uh, 59 percent and percent positive agreement which is about 36 percent review define overall percent agreement percent positive agreement contrast overall percent agreement and percent positive agreement وأقول الحمد لله وthank you for your good listening